Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk about projecting images on the spheres. So uh, we're gonna look at a couple of options actually to get a sphere. We'll, we'll make a quick sphere, and uh, I wanna make it look like a pool ball. So something that just, you know, literally printed on a sphere, nothing nothing else. Uh, and we're looking at a couple different options. We have some native tool, op well, it's all native tools, but we have a way to actually like color and paint stuff that we don't have to, to use an image. But then we want to take a look at taking an image and having it wrap around uh, something like a ball. So let's uh, let's make some pool balls right now. All right, first thing, of course, we're going to need is we are going to need a sphere. So uh, a while back, I did a video on creating a sphere in six seconds. Uh, I'm probably rusty now, so let's, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, it's two commands. It is a circle and it is follow me. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a circle. We're going to draw two circles, one on the ground here, one on the, in the air right here. Grab this bottom one, say follow me, grab this one, and we have a sphere. All right, so I'm going to make a couple copies of this sphere real quick. I'm going to say move option and do like uh, 2x, something like that. Okay. So I want a, to take these spheres and I want to make them look like pool balls. Uh, you know, the obvious one to go for is the eight ball. Everybody, you know, whatever geeks out on the eight ball. But I want to do a number four ball. Why a number four ball? Because purple is my favorite color and four is the like perfect shade of purple. So uh, I'm going to start by importing an image. So I'm going to go file import and right off my desktop here i'm just going to grab this picture of a four and just drop it just to double click to place it right there all right so this is what we're going for uh you've got a white circle in the middle the rest of it's this nice purple color black four in there so before we actually talk about projecting this i do want to just see what i can do with the modeling tools so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to say view and show me my hidden geometry all right, so if I look at this, I can see that I, I have stuff broken into segments here, right? Um, so what I could do is I could come in with the paint bucket tool. Grab that, bring it over here. I could grab this nice purple color. And if I wanted to, I could actually come in here and start like coloring these segments in. Um, I've got that, I don't got time for that. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna come to a side view like this. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to grab a select window and I'm just going to grab, I guess like that much. And that's going to select everything except these top two segments here and the bottom two segments here. And then I can grab that same purple color and I can tap here. Oops. I didn't go back into the uh, command. You, got, you do have to actually tell it what command. As good as we try to make software, it doesn't read minds yet. So I do have to say, I tap the paint bucket tool to get that. And all right, so we're we're about halfway there. Uh, if I go to view and turn off my hidden geometry, all right, I'm I'm pretty close to a four ball right now. I'm gonna need some text in here, obviously the four there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use 3D text to do this. I'm gonna go to tools and I'm gonna grab my 3D text. I'm going to type a, you guys already figured it out, a four. I could go through, I, I could spend some time finding the perfect text for this, but in my afternoon of perusing four balls on the internet, I found that fonts change. So there may be an official, like, I don't know, pool guy world. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the official controlling body is for pool ball creation but there may be an official font i personally i'm good with whatever this is times that's fine let's go ahead and do that i'm going to place it i know this isn't going to be the right size i'm just going to drop it on the ground here and then i'm going to come in here with scale and i'm going to start by making it taller and then uh let's also make it bigger let's just uniformly that's fine uh it's probably a little too tall okay so something like that might be uh, th there may also be like, you know, a rule for how big the four is compared to the rest of the ball. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to eyeball it. Nailed it. All right. So that looks pretty good. That's that's about where I want it to be. Awesome. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this surface. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say intersect face with model. That means any place that this surface intersects any geometry in the rest of the model, it's going to break. So when I do that, uh, I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drop it straight down so it pokes out the other side. And then I'm going to go back to color, grab my black. There we go. All right, so we got a pretty good four ball there. The other side, of course, is going to be, well, pretty much the same thing, except obviously I'm not a math guy, but I don't think that four is right. So we're going to want to flip that, of course. So what I could do, I use a couple different ways, I guess. There's actually, all right, I'm thinking of a lot of different ways. I'm going to use select to pick it, go to move, and then just use the, the this to flip it around like that, flip it to 180 degrees. Awesome. And then same thing, I can select this intersect face with model, erase this, fill that with black. All right, so there we go. So I, I could, I can make a four ball with just modeling tools. But let's take a look now how we might go about putting this image onto this ball instead. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna lay it right underneath. It doesn't have, that doesn't have to be perfect. Well, actually, you know, if you have the option, perfect is always nice. You know, lining things up perfectly when possible is kind of cool. And with inferencing, I'm just going to grab the edges, the middle points of both sides of the image, and line it up with the center point of this ball. Now, I'm going to hit scale, and I'm going to modify our key to scale around the middle, and just drop this down so it's almost, that image is almost smaller, I should go a little bit bigger, just slightly larger than the ball itself. Now, this currently isn't a sampleable image or, or sampleable material, so I can't apply this. So if I come into my paint bucket tool, I can't say, pick this. See, I get the little no sign. It tells me, uh-uh. That's the, that's the title of that little circle with a line through it. It's called an uh-uh. So I get an uh-uh when I come in here to do that. What I have to do, a couple things I'm going to want to do here. So first, I'm going to select, right-click, and I'm going to explode an image. An image is just a texture that is on a surface that is locked into a special group. Once I explode it, this just becomes a face that has a material on it. The other thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is right click on just the image. Now, you saw there before, everything was highlighted. I'm gonna deselect, pick just the image, right click, texture, and I wanna make sure projected is turned on. Projected says when I apply this to something, it's going to, like a projector, push this image all the way across a material or a surface. So with that, I'm gonna say paint bucket, select, see my, my uh uh's gone. I can just pick this material, apply it right here, and look at that, I got a good looking four ball right there. If I flip around the other side, I'm gonna see a thing that I'm not necessarily gonna like. Uh, I can just, actually I can delete this, I don't need this material anymore. My four is backwards over here, see that? So that's not ideal. What do I do about that? Well, let's let me let me think of some solutions. Uh, one thing I could do is I could modify the geometry. Let's do that. Let's let's go ahead and go to View, turn on our hidden geometry. I'll we'll look at it right from the side, and I'm going to select the bottom half. Then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say erase. Get rid of that. I'm going to temporarily make this a group because I'm going to use rotate to flip this copy. I'm gonna hit option to make a, a copy. And there we go. Now I have four space in the right way, four space in the right way. Oh, if I wanted to, I could use, I guess I could do this too. I don't actually, again, I don't know what direction, if, if the two fours are supposed to be the same way, mine's upside down, but they're both the same. Um, at that point, I take those two, Make them into their own group. I should probably triple click make this into a group or a component also. But uh, yeah, so there we go. I'm going to turn my hidden geometry back off. I'm, I'm curious. It's not quite centered on there, but uh, looks like my circle, my guess of, of two rings of the circle is about the right size. All right, so with that, and again, it doesn't matter that that's off center because as soon as I go to uh, my view and turn off my hidden geometry, you know, that's what's important. But there we go. 
So we have a couple options there for how we might want to create that uh, four ball. I, I got a white ball here just because, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to paint a cue ball too. So knock that one out quick. But there we go. Yeah, so there's a couple different ways to go about creating uh, a surface that wraps all the way around a sphere. Now, there is some important stuff here. Uh, when it does wrap, it's not actually wrapping. So I said wrap, but really it's projecting. Like I said, it's projecting right onto it. So if you have an image that doesn't fully cover the circle when you project, you might get weird edges. Uh, you know, if you have a square where the image go out the side, it's going to distort a little bit. Uh, a, something like this is perfect because by the time it gets out to the outside edges, it's just materials. We have a little bit of reflectivity and stuff going on up here, but it's really just that material that goes around the outside. Um, but it's a great way to use projected and, and on, a, on a surface like a sphere, you know, it shows just how easy that is to do. I hope you like that. Hopefully you liked that video. If so, click like down below and let us know that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe too. We create several videos each and every week and be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Have you done something like this before? Have you used a different process, a different method? Is there th something that you think would make a good video that we should know about? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.